We got some stuff from Mueller. Shout out to Andre, shout out to Anne-Marie at Mueller. Did we ever get the proper pronunciation of their name? I'm pretty sure it's, is it Mueller Coops? Someone should like Google that sh and just have it do their repeat thing where it plays out quips. Cause my other wrench extender says Workzug. Workzug? Well, it says Mueller and Workzug on here. Mueller, Workzug. And I'm just butchering their, their beautiful native language. Shout out to Mueller. <laughs> Shout out to Mueller. Thank you guys for sending us this care package. They sent us a care package of some goodies here and we're gonna essentially torture test them unbiased. And uh, we'll let you know what's worth getting off of them and what's, you know, maybe not, but. They just put it all out here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, where do we start here? So these ones are the stubby sockets. These are the metric 10 to 24 mil impact set. And it comes on a rail here. They're really shallow. Like, I don't know, maybe I should, you know what? I should grab a regular one of mine. Half inch drive, 24 mil Mueller. You can kind of see the height difference here. Let me, you can see. More gape there. These ones will be nice to try out. They're pretty weighty too. So I mean, probably do some good work with those. Get in some tight spots. What do we got here? Ultra short impact wrench, half inch drive. Holy shit, this thing's small. <laughs> Great personality though. Great personality. Half inch dress W, I like it. It feels kind of heavy, which I like. Heavy's good. I don't know why everybody's on this big kick of lighter tools and featherweight tools and they want everything super light and composite. I like feeling that a tool's actually like got some something there. It's like made with material, not made with like 50% air to try to save. More weight is more better. More weight hits harder. And not, I don't care who you are. That's a fact, more weight more better. <laughs> Try hitting with a smaller hammer, right? It doesn't work. You can't, it's hard to hit harder with a smaller hammer. You can always hit lighter with a big hammer. To the right, it's 615 and to the left, so it'd be your reverse would be 677. I also really like the directional change on this one. And that's something that my uh, three quarter has is that style of directional change. I like that. I really like that one hand. Don't have to take your hand off. You don't have to Go to the back and twist something. It's just, you can use your thumb. So, yeah. We'll give this one a shot in the mouth and see how she does. I think it'll do well. I have no idea, but I, I'm just going based off how it feels. I like how it feels. Uh, what next? Dealer's choice, baby. What do you guys want to see? Point it on the screen. Tell me. This? Sure. Okay. What are these? What's, what is this? Witchcraft. Crazy. That's magic, that must be some German engineering. Okay, we got magnetic parts bowls here. I think these are the ones that I have in my truck. So yeah, we got the magnet cups here. I've got these ones in my truck. These things are awesome. They're like your coconut cups for when you're on vacation. Put some junk in there and then you can put them up that way. That's those. I don't know how much more to say about those as long as they don't break plastic in the truck. So far, so good. They didn't crack, that's good. I don't know, man, like maybe I'm being too hard on it. I don't think I'm being hard enough. Let's move on to this, because I really like these. And if you don't have one of these, you gotta get one. And the fact that Mueller makes one of these, I know it's gonna be bomb proof, hopefully. But don't worry, I'll find out for you. I will make sure it is, and then you can buy it. If you've been in this any amount of time, You've done equipment servicing. You've dealt with these cat style strap wrenches. I'll just call it like cat one because if you go to the dealers, you can buy these through the dealer. I'm gonna be pretty brutally honest. The new ones suck that you buy through the cat dealers. They're trash. I don't know why. I don't know what's changed. I had an old one uh, and I remember my old journeyman's one. It, it's almost like they got thinner over the years. Um, even this one doesn't look as thick as the old cat one, but it's definitely 
more skookum than the uh, than the ones that I got now. I know that some of them, Cam and I were talking about them, when you torque them up, they break at the pins here, but these look pretty beefy. Uh, I've had a few other knockoff versions over the years from different manufacturers, and they're just like the other cheap cat ones. They don't last, they, they bend and break. So I'm really hoping this is like a throwback to the old cat ones where it actually lasts. It'd be nice. I mean, if it's skook them, then yeah. And that'd be sweet because nobody thinks about us in heavy duty, and that's actually a very heavy duty oriented tool, you know. Let's go here with this one. What's this? Carbide scraper kit. Oh, yeah. I like the little foam insert. That's cool. They're sharp. They're nice. Comes in two sizes. What? That is pretty. That's pretty groovy, man. That's pretty cool. Is it sharp? It's sharp as f I was like trying to like rip it off, but I was like, man, is that like a edge protector like a plastic to keep it sharp but that's the edge that's the edge that is gucci i like that get yourself a good set of carbide scrapers um i have a couple other ones i got the uh i think i got the snap on one with the little triangle blades you can actually get different uh shaped blades for it uh, i only ever use the, the triangle one really but my only question is, I really like these. The handles are slick too. How long is it gonna last? And what do I do when it gets dull? Can I resharpen these? Do I gotta get them like machined? But we'll torture test them. We'll try them out. Got an engine job coming up here. Uh, we'll give these a shot. And uh, I like that they got the two little wits here that come in the kit. So yeah, nice, sweet, sweet ass. Chisel scraper kit. Not even going to try this one in German. Instructions for scrapers? Nah. Striking cap. I like it already. <laughs> That's how you know it's a good tool and they make it designed to be beat. They're like, yeah, no, we're going to put a striking cap on it. This thing's going to get the sh beat out of it. So hopefully they've designed the rest of the tool to endure that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's daddy likey. And this is a flexi one, like a putty knife. That's slick. Short, short and fat. Call that one tuna can. So each one's a flexi and an on flexi. <laughs> no, this is the non flexi one. That blade's like, that's skookum. I, that's borderline chisel territory. That's like, I could like, I like could chisel rivet heads off with that. I'm gonna start using them. The thing is, when you make them borderline chisel, now I'm gonna start using them as a chisel. So, yeah. Should have kept them as a scraper, Mueller. <laughs> I was kidding. I really like those. Those are gonna be sweet to try out. Excited for that. What do we got here? We have a nice wooden box. Butcher this one here. I'm not even going there. Crowfoot wrench kit, 19 to 41 mil. That's pretty fancy. A fancy wooden box with the crow's foot. Seems too nice for us to have. Like skookum is frig crow feet, man. So the problem with crow's feet a lot of times, it's a balancing act of you know, like flare nut crow's feet like this of having a thin wall so you can get into places and having a thick enough wall where it doesn't just flex and open up. Cause it, I have some snap on ones and they don't work great cause they're so thin that it, by the time you get them on the hydraulic line, like even, it doesn't even have to be that tight of a hydraulic line. They just turn and just pop open and jump. Inch and five eighths, 41 mil, same enough. 41 mil fits on an inch and five eighths. So can you see that? Might be a little harder to get in there. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I can shave some down without losing too much strength, I don't know. Drop it on there and get in there. Say you had like a bunch of other hoses around here, you know, on this valve bank and you can't get this in, you can't get a regular wrench on there, that's when you use your crow feet. You can put it in there, put an extension on there, 
put your impact on there. Whap. Oh, whatever, we'll try it. We'll try it anyways and see. I do really like these. Uh, I use them a lot. So let's try, let's try these out. Is there more in here? Dig in here. Everyone, oh, it looks like we're having pry bar fights today. Track pin tool for putting tracks back together. That's what these are usually used for. Oh, that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to see if it works. So it's got the striking face on it too, so you can use a swing press on it. Striking cap once again. That's heavy duty. I wouldn't even bother buying a pry bar if it doesn't have a striking cap. I don't even care what size it is, if it's a tiny one or not. Um, has to have a striking cap. That means the metal goes all the way through the handle too. Um, the handle, the handle's sweet. It's just like a, a rubbery, gooey thing they put on here. Can they rip it off? Not a huge fan of handles that spin, but when I'm on this thing and I'm reefing on it and my hand slips, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's got that twisty throttle grip. I don't know. This, I don't know, we'll try it. Maybe it's good that it's cushioned, beaten apprentices with, I don't know. Um, but yeah, time will tell. We'll find out. Kneeling pads. These are always something I've had uh, issues with in the past. Just going through them like crazy. Like we just bought a new one, it lasted like two weeks. But the thing is you buy cheap ones or expensive ones and they're, they're both trash. We'll try this out. Chemical resistant, extremely durable, stores easily. Give them a, sh give them a shot and just disappear. <laughs> I'll have to see how well these work. Um, Cause yeah, most times these things just turn into oil sponges. Is this a sleeping mat? The yoga mat? Or the jumbo editions, holy We got two sleeping mats. The nap mats running under the machine. I like the colors. Yeah, the color is pretty dope actually. Gucci, very stylish. It's like a mint ice cream sandwich. Yeah, mint Oreos. Okay, so we're gonna give half of this stuff to Cam. <laughs> um, and I'll take half and then we're gonna run them in the field for a few months here and see what we like and don't like about these. And we'll come back and do another review video on it in a few months time. My big thing doing this is never recommend something that I wouldn't run myself just because someone's, you know, giving it to you to telling you to use it. So we'll give her a shot. We'll see. We'll see how all these hold up. And I'm sure there's going to be some good ones and I'm sure there's going to be some bad ones. So we'll let you know what's good and what needs improvement. Like and subscribe and all the other stuff. Please, please, please just subscribe whatever I would really appreciate it um, I'm pretty desperate for it right now not gonna lie could really use the subscribers <laughs> please 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 subscribe <laughs>